What up folks, I'm Lloyd, no. <laughs> from lots of different brands, from Salomon, Raylight, Ron Hill. Oh, I've had a few walking jackets and... Uh, What up folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all fit and well and getting excited as we build up towards Christmas. If you are struggling with gift ideas for the runner in your life, then I definitely recommend going and checking out our previous video that we uploaded to the channel a few days ago. We take a look at some great gift ideas for runners and we've made sure all the gift ideas are fun and affordable. Right, let's get stuck into today's video and we are back with a kit review and an item of running kit that we've never reviewed at the channel before so today we are talking about running waterproof jackets now over the years since i've been trail running i've had several waterproof jackets some good some not so good from lots of different brands whether it be salomon raid light ron hill montaigne all the way up to my current jacket which is a buff waterproof jacket I've actually got two of these jackets. Um, they've seen me through lots of tough races in some pretty tough weather conditions. Waterproof wise, it performs really well. Waterproof zips and a good waterproof fabric. Breathability is okay, but you do run quite hot in this jacket. Um, it's taken me through the arc of attrition, also um, UTMB. This is the jacket that I used when I finished the race back in 2018. We had some very British weather conditions in that race, lots of torrential downpours, and it was pretty cold up high at about minus five, and the jacket coped with it pretty good. But today we are taking a look at a running waterproof jacket that's actually a collaboration of two brands and it is the Ron Hill a Mountain Equipment Gore-Tex Shake Dry Waterproof Running Jacket. Now that has to be the longest name for an item of running kit ever. Like the long name suggests, this is a fully waterproof running jacket with tape seams and waterproof zips. It retails in the UK at £230 and it is constructed using a Gore-Tex Shake Dry fabric. As I mentioned, it is a collaboration. So it's a collaboration between the running brand Ron Hill and the outdoor company Mountain Equipment. Right, so let's break down the construction in a bit more detail. I'm sure there's lots of you out there that have heard of the waterproof fabric Gore-Tex. You've probably had a jacket or some shoes that have featured the material at some point. I've had a few walking jackets and a pro shell over the years that have featured the Gore-Tex fabric and I've always been impressed with its waterproof properties. Um, I've never chose to run in them because I've always found them pretty heavy, pretty bulky, and almost impossible to sort of compress down and to fit in, say, your race day running vest. Also, they're pretty warm. So I think moving at running pace, moving quickly, you'd get pretty warm pretty soon due to the lack of breathability. This is where the design of the Ron Hill jacket is very different. Firstly, it is super lightweight, very, very lightweight. You can hardly feel you're wearing it and it compresses down very small. So you can have no issues fitting it in your running pack and it's not gonna take up too much room. Secondly, the jacket is constructed using the Gore-Tex shake dry fabric that's actually been designed specifically for running. The shake dry membrane is on the outside of the jacket so water just beads up and runs off the surface and this stops the fabric from wetting out even in the toughest of weather conditions. Now normally the trade-off with wearing a good waterproof jacket is breathability as our body temperature rises. This is something I hear all the time from runners. Runners that are really struggling to run in their waterproof jackets because they're getting just as wet inside the jacket due to the lack of breathability. Top tip when it comes to running in your waterproof jacket always run your jacket with a good technical long sleeve top underneath never run it with a short sleeve top never run it with that jacket close to bare skin because all that's going to happen is you're going to get very hot you're going to get clammy 
and you're going to get very sweaty and that kind of defeats the object. Shake Dry is one of the most breathable laminates from Gore-Tex, so reducing overheating, making it a lot easier to control body temperature while moving at speed over longer distances. The jacket also comes with robust waterproof zips on the front and on the secure chest pocket. It has an elasticated hem and elasticated cuffs with thumb loops just to guarantee a secure fit. When it comes to the hood of the jacket, that is elasticated too. It has a small bit of adjustment on the back to offer you an optimum fit. Another feature that I really like on this jacket, which some waterproof jackets really fall down on, and that is high vis. This Ron Hill jacket has a great level of high vis, so great when you're out on the trails, but it'll also be really good for crossing over to any winter road running. Now, last but least, when it comes to features on the Ron Hill Gore-Tex jacket, is this little press stud feature inside. Now, it doesn't look like much, but this is brilliantly simple and all running jackets should have it. So you head off down the road on your run and within a mile, two miles, you start to get warm or overheat. So what do you do? You half unzip your jacket for a bit of extra ventilation. The downside to this is if it's a windy night, that wind goes into your jacket, fills it up like a parachute, which I suppose is okay if you want a bit of resistance training. Even worse still, if you fully unzip your jacket, it just flaps around the wind and drives you crazy. Well, this little press stud feature stops all that fuss and it works really well. Just undo your jacket and then pop these two little press studs together and then there you go. No flapping, no parachute, but you're still gonna get a good bit of ventilation. It really is a simple but brilliant little feature. Right, so that's all the info and the features about this new top of the range waterproof running jacket from Ron Hill and Mountain Equipment. But let's go through the things that we've really liked about the jacket and maybe a few of the things that we feel could be slightly improved but let's start with the good stuff. Now the first thing that we need to talk about is the level of protection against the elements that this jacket offers. Now I have run it in some pretty interesting weather conditions that have really pushed the performance of this jacket over the month that we've been testing it. 40 to 50 mile an hour winds, driving rain for 20 miles on the coast path of Cornwall is a pretty good testing ground when it comes to the Ron Hill Gore-Tex jacket. And I've got to say, it passed with flying colors. The Gore-Tex fabric with that shake dry outer shell worked really well when it came to keeping the rain out. Uh, the water literally just beaded up and run off the front of the jacket. Also, these robust waterproof zips held up really well, even though that driving wind was smashing the rain against the front of this jacket. I had no water penetrate the zips at all. So I've had jackets before that offer a real high level of protection against the weather. But like I said before, I've always found them a bit bulky and a bit heavy when it comes to packing them down. So it's been really nice with the Ron Hill jacket to have a jacket that offers that level of protection, but is still super lightweight and it packs down super small so that it doesn't take up all the room in your running vest. The fit of the jacket was just right for me. I'm actually running in a men's medium and it was spot on. The fit of our running jackets is very, very important, you know. We want a bit of movement in the shoulders, room to swing our arms, but then we want the body of the jacket to be quite fitted. We don't want it flapping around and creating too much wind resistance. The fit of our jackets can also really affect performance when it comes to protection. If the uh, jacket is too big or the arms are too long and it's all gathered up causing little creases, the water can sit in them creases and pull and then that fabric will eventually wet out and water will penetrate your jacket. None of the above issues with the Ron Hill jacket, nice and fitted in the body and then good room in the shoulders and the length of the arms was perfect. When the weather really turned that day as we made our way back to Land's End, I actually had to resort to turning my cap around and pulling the hood up just to offer me a little bit more protection. The hood fitted really nicely over my head and my cap and very snugly around my face and I felt really well protected against the elements. Even though the wind was gusting up to 50 miles an hour a day, because the hood fitted so well and so securely over my head, it even stopped me from losing my Run For Adventure running cap. I'm really impressed with how the jacket has handled some of the challenging conditions we've had while we've been testing it. 
But the standout feature for me has to be the level of breathability the Ron Hill jacket offers. Now, I'm sure there's lots of you out there that have had a similar situation that you're out there running, it starts to rain, so you grab your coat out of your running pack and you put it on, but you're still running at a steady pace and then you start to overheat. This is something that I have struggled with with most of my other waterproof jackets. Obviously, you're always gonna get a bit warmer when you put a jacket on and a waterproof jacket can only be so breathable, but this has to be hands down the most breathable waterproof jacket that I have ever run in. I always wear a good long sleeve technical base layer under my waterproof running jacket and I find that really helps when it comes to breathability. On the day we mentioned, I started in my jacket because there was a real cold, biting, gusting wind. About an hour into the run, the torrential rain started and then it didn't stop. Uh, on the day, we ran a real sort of challenging, hilly, technical 20 mile route and we were out in the elements for about four hours. Not once did I feel too hot in this jacket. Not once did I have to undo the zip like I would in any of my other waterproof jackets, even though if I had a done, I'd have been all right because it's got that great little press stud feature. But yeah, I didn't undo my jacket once. And then when we got back to the car and I was changing into some warm, dry clothes, I couldn't believe how dry I was inside the jacket. Normally in my buff waterproof jacket, uh, the inside fabric would be pretty damp after that kind of duration, but not the case in the Ron Hill jacket. Um, the fabric internally was pretty much dry at the end of the run. So all in all, I've been really impressed with the performance of this jacket. Every element that we have tested has impressed me. I think the only thing that I could pick up on that might make a slight improvement because I've been impressed with everything else about the jacket is if they added a little wired peak to the hood. Uh, the hood of this jacket doesn't have a peak and I've actually heard a few runners uh, on forums say that that's you know a bit of a negative to them. They would like to have a peak on their jacket. Personally for me, um, I always run in a cap, so I've got a peak there if I need it. But I can see how some runners might want that in their waterproof running jackets. I've also heard some negativity when it comes to the shape dry laminate on the outside of the jacket, and that it doesn't work very well when we're running with a running vest or pack. Um, I've heard a few runners say they've had a bad experience with that uh, shake dry outer shell actually rubbing off because they're wearing a pack. Uh, I must add, it hasn't been with the Ron Hill jacket, it's been with other brands that use a similar material. I've been running in the jacket for over a month now uh, without and with a running vest and I can definitely vouch for durability. There's no signs of anywhere on the jacket on the front or the shoulders or the back from any rubbing from a running vest. I suppose only time will tell when it comes to this, but so far, so good. But that's a bit of information about how we felt running in this new jacket from Ron Hill and Mountain Equipment. But you guys know by now, we like to score the product that we test at Run For Adventure. So let's get some scores on this new, exciting, waterproof running jacket. The first thing to score at Run For Adventure is always price. Now, this jacket retails for the high price of 230 pounds in the UK. Now, this is a lot of money for a waterproof running jacket and a lot of money for an item of kit that maybe you're not gonna use that often. But I think for the level of performance and the level of protection that is given me, I think it's almost justified. And personally for me, in my mandatory kit, I want a jacket that if I come into trouble or I fall over, have an accident, or I hit really bad weather, I want that jacket to protect me and keep me safe. So for the Ron Hill and Mountain Equipment waterproof running jacket, we are gonna score it a seven out of 10 for price. Next up is comfort and performance, and the jacket has to score high for comfort and performance. When it comes down to comfort, the fit is fantastic. It's fitted me really well, almost like it's tailored for me. So it feels like I haven't got a jacket on. When it comes to performance, keeping out the rain, even in some really challenging conditions, it has performed really well. Well. And like I said, it's probably the most breathable running jacket that I have ever worn. So it's going to score high when it comes to comfort and performance, and we are going to give it a very strong 9 out of 10. Number three on the list is durability. We've been running in the jacket in some pretty harsh conditions for over a month now, and I haven't seen any signs of wear and tear on the jacket. Again, a few runners have been concerned about this shake dry outer sort of layer. Again, showing no signs of wear so far. So when it comes to durability for the Ron Hill waterproof running jacket, we are gonna score it a tough 
eight out of 10. Last on the list is looks, and I know it's not the most important thing when it comes to our running kit, but this is a Gucci looking jacket. I like the kind of stealth design, it looks super cool. I like the fact that it's got a really good level of high vis on it that really stands out when it is picked out by car headlights. So I love the way this jacket looks. I've had a few people concerned with the dark colorway of it, which I, I understand, you know, if you're lost on a mountainside somewhere, maybe dark gray isn't the best color and you'd want a brighter colored jacket, but I love the way it looks. So the jacket is gonna score high for looks and we are gonna give it a very sexy nine out of 10. So tallying all them scores up, let me take a deep breath. For the Ron Hill Mountain Equipment Gore-Tex Shake Dry Waterproof Running Jacket, it comes in with a really respectable 33 out of 40. So that's all the scoring done. So let's wrap this review up with a quick conclusion. Firstly, I realized that 230 pounds is quite a lot of money for a waterproof running jacket. And there is jackets out there that are definitely a lot cheaper and they still offer a really good level of protection against the elements. They also tick all the boxes when it comes to our mandatory kit for races. Take my buff jacket for instance, that retails at around £130 in the UK and it's done a really good job up till now. It also has all the things that a jacket needs to pass kit check, so tape seams, waterproof zip and it has a high enough waterproof rating. So it really comes down to the amount of money you want to spend on your jacket and the level of performance you want from your jacket. I hear a lot of people saying that they just went out and bought a cheap waterproof jacket because they had to have one for the race and the mandatory kit for that race and it's probably just going to sit in their pack the whole time and never be used. I totally understand this if you are racing in the summertime in the UK then you might get away with this approach. I personally want to carry a jacket with me that's actually going to offer me protection in every situation so whether I'm running or racing in the summer or the depths of winter Heaven forbid if I'm doing a mountain race and I have an accident and I'm stranded on the top of a mountain in challenging conditions waiting for help. At the end of the day, it's not just about ticking boxes on a mandatory kit list. We have to carry that mandatory kit for our own safety and protection. So if you're running any winter ultras or races in the mountains where the weather can be super changeable and it can go from being sunny and warm to really heavy storms at the drop of the hat, then the level of performance that the Ron Hill and Mountain Equipment jacket gives you is worth every penny. Over the years, I've run in lots of different brands and models of waterproof jacket, and finally, it's great to find one that performs to the level that I want my waterproof running jacket to perform to. So great protection, super breathable, but the weight and the packability has not been compromised at all. And I would definitely be rocking up to the start line of the Arc of Attrition 2021 in the Ron Hill and mountain equipment jacket. So that is a wrap on another review at Run For Adventure. Really hope you enjoy it guys, hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget, give us a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. We have left a link in the description for the jacket if you wanna find out any more information and get involved guys. Are you running in the Ron Hill jacket? How are you finding the performance? Do you think it's super breathable? Or are you running in a different brand of waterproof jacket and really enjoying the experience? Let us know down below. Also guys, don't forget to get entered in our amazing giveaway extravaganza. We have got some amazing prizes up for grabs. In fact, 700 pounds worth of prizes up for grabs. The brands have been so supportive and we can't thank them enough. So the competition is gonna close on the 23rd of December and we'll be drawing the winners on Christmas Eve. So get in the mix, you don't wanna miss out on that. We have got lots of other videos planned on the build up to Christmas to keep you entertained at this festive time of year. But just quickly, I just wanna show you something that we were given at the channel today. How cool is this? This was given to me in the shop today by Thomas, the lad who featured in our virtual London video and I helped um, pace him to his first sub three. Thomas, this means so much, mate. I am so appreciative of this. Um, it was so good to be involved with helping him to his sub three, but to get this as well, made by his own hands, you can tell um, he's a carpenter by trade and he's done a wicked job. Means the world, Thomas, thank you. This is always gonna be in the background of our videos from now on, so cheers, mate. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video, and as always, stay safe and keep on running.